Yo, 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 what is going on guys and it's your boy RRB Plays here today back again with yet another insane squad builder on the channel and in today's video as you guys can probably tell by the title of the video I'm going to be showcasing one of the best most insane beastly overpowered 150k teams that is built around this new release flashback Raphael this Raphael card does look very very overpowered it looks insane like a just sweaty sweaty um defense Defender. and yeah man he really does look like a special player so I thought why not and go ahead and build a cheap affordable team around this flashback card which I am gonna do today but before I go ahead and, and jump into the squad builder make sure you guys do subscribe make sure you guys do turn on post notifications and all that good stuff and also guys make sure you do follow my socials follow my Instagram and Twitter man please so you can so you can communicate with me through there man but anyways enough of me chit chatting let's waste no more time and jump into the squad builder babe Let's get it, let's go! Okay, so guys, as you can see on your screens right now, for this insane 150k team, the formation that you guys want to use is the 4-3-3-4 variation um, formation. This formation is very, very overpowered. It's good for pacey and like sweaty teams. So that's why we are going to be using this formation today. Um, you could also use the 4-2-3-1, the one with the free, uh, the, the lamb, ram, and cam. But if you were going to use that formation, yet you would have to create a custom tactic preset and change in game. But also, guys, another thing, another point. A thing that I want to point out is this is a 150k team around Raphael. So Raphael's price isn't included in the squad builder, and that is because he is an SBC card. All right, guys. All SBC cards, the price of their SBC um, is never is never included in the squad. All right. So it's always all the tradable plays around them that add up to 150k. Okay. If you guys watch me a lot, you guys all should know that by now. But anyways, guys, enough of the waffling. Let's go ahead. Let's jump into the striker position, and we do have a cheap beast, a sweaty player, man. Like I said, his formation is for sweaty pacey players and we do have one here in the striker position he goes by the name of Lucas Mora bros Lucas Mora is absolutely insane in this game man honestly one of my favorite cheap attackers to use in this game he's pacey he's skillful he's got a good finish on him he's very very good at dribbling he's just overall just a beastie player bros as you can see he's got 95 acceleration with 89 sprint speed he also does have 82 attacking positioning and 82 finishing but i'll say something from now that 82 finishing should be about 87 finishing because oh my days he finishes almost every chance that he gets man honestly just so insane in this game and also he is a he's an amazing dribbler he's got 93 agility 92 balance 83 ball control and 88 dribbling bro so he's a, he's a very technical attacker he can get past the is very very well and also guys he does have four star skill moves and four star weak foot so lucas Moore in this game a cheap sweaty overpowered player so make sure you guys go ahead and pick him up but now we move on guys we move in towards that left wing spot and we do have another brazilian in this brazilian hybrid man he goes by the name of Nar uh, david Neres. i was about to say Neres. i don't know what i was thinking there and i'm even spelling his name wrong what am i doing there we go david Neres. but it's not any old david Neres, man it is that champions league um road to the final Neres man this card is very very deadly as you guys can see man he's got five star skill moves which is very very good a small downside though is the fact that he does have three star weak foot but other, other than that he is a very very good card as you can see man he is pacey with 89 acceleration and 88 sprint speed he's also got 81 finishing um 93 agility guys 87 balance 87 ball control and 90 dribbling he again he's a very very technical player he's a, um, a good dribbler you know he's got high agility he can turn quickly he's a skillful player as well with five star skill moves he's pacey a good finisher he just genuinely is a very very good cheap attacker a very sweaty attacker um in this game man and he fits the meta of the game you know he's got high agility good dribbling good finishing he's pacey got the skill moves you just can't go wrong with using this Neres card but anyways guys we move on in towards the right wing spot and we do have a man that is kind of like the reverse of Neres in terms of the weak foot and skill moves he goes by the name of Cornet, and it is that winter refresh card um this winter refresh card is very very good man it's very very deadly you know again it's got high agility um a good finishing good pace as well and that's what i do like about him but when i said that he's a reverse of Neres, is, is the fact that he's got five star weak foot and three star skill moves you know Neres has got five star skill moves and three star weak foot but cornet is the complete opposite of that but still very very good man the fact that he's got five star weak foot is just amazing so you don't really have to focus on shooting on one particular foot you know you can feel free to just shoot on any foot um which is just always very very nice to have man obviously as you guys can see he's also got um 
three start skill moves as well so that isn't too bad to be fair that isn't too bad but yeah man Cornet still is very very overpowered in this game and what I like about him man he has got a deadly finish on him bros a very very deadly finish honestly in my opinion this card is very very underrated I don't see this card too much maybe because people like to I don't know use icons instead but honestly when you're looking for a cheap team a cheap affordable team like this one I'm building today man having an attacker like Cornet is just insane man he's got 95 sprint speed at 93 acceleration he also does have 89 attacking positioning and 89 finishing with 92 shot power and 86 long shots um he also does have 92 agility 87 balance 82 ball control and 85 dribbling so again a very very good dribbler with high agility high finishing and high um sprint speed as well man and then he's also got five star weak foot so again he's just a very very deadly attacker man and this trio here is very very sweaty and very very overpowered so make sure you guys go ahead and pick these lot up but anyways guys you move on in towards the midfield and we move on in towards the cam spot so in the cam position we actually do have another five star skiller he goes by the name of um roberto firmino ladies and gentlemen man roberto firmino a very very good creator in this game a very very good finisher again another technical dribbler in this game as you guys can see man he's got five star skills and four star weak foot which is always very very nice to have him when you're using an attacker he also is very very clinical and that's what i do like about firmino man he's not a cam that can't shoot he is a cam that's got good skills good weak foot is very very good finish on him very very good dribbling as well like again you just can't go wrong with using this card he's got decent pace about him as well for a cam he's got 77 sprint speed and 70 acceleration like i said man he's a good finisher with 85 finishing and also he does get into he's he does get into some good positions with 87 attacking positioning and then he also does have 88 composure so he's very like calm composed and clinical in front of goal he also does have 88 dribbling and 88 ball control so he really is um a good player man so i do recommend that you guys go ahead and pick him up but now ladies and gentlemen we move on in towards the center mid spot and in the right center mid spot we do have morgan santon but it isn't any old regular morgan santon it is indeed the headliners card man i really really do rate this headliners card it's such a well-rounded card it's a card that can attack a card that can defend and that's what i do love so much about this card man he can pretty much do anything and he's just so reliable in both sides of the pitch you know when he's defending you can rely on him and also when you're attacking you can rely on him and that's why i do like morgan santon as you can see man he's a very well-rounded player he's got 81 finishing 85 shot power 83 attacking positioning but then he also does have 76 slide tackle and 79 standing tackle which is very very nice to have and also technically his dribbling isn't too bad as well he does have 84 agility 84 ball control and 80 dribbling and then just to put the icing on cop just on, on cop on top just to put the icing on top he is a very very um a good creator as well he's got 88 long passing and 86 short passing so morgan sanson man again another underrated player i feel like in this game but very very overpowered man he really is overpowered and as you can see he's got four star skill moves and four star weak foot as well so you just can't you just can't go wrong with using a card like Sanson to be honest you just can't but anyways now in the left center mid spot we do have a slightly more defensive minded center mid um he does go by the name of Fernando and again it's not any old regular Fernando it's that 84 rated in form card man this card is very very overpowered and like I said man it's more defensive minded he is a lot um, better defensively um, and yeah man he is just literally a living rock he is just an anchor a stud man he's just gonna sit there clean up and just make those interceptions make those tackles make those blocks and he's just really gonna be again that just defensive anchor of the team man he's gonna hold that midfield down he's gonna control the game bros that's what he's there to do but as you can see um, defensively he is very very good man he does have 85 slide tackle 87 stand tackle and 83 defensive awareness and he also does have 85 strength and 87 interceptions man he really is a good card so make sure you guys go ahead and pick him up man just very very good defensively and like i said man he does um like to control that midfield but now we move on in towards the defensive lineup and we move on in towards the left back spot and we do have the man himself the one and only run and man a very very cheap but overpowered card He's sweaty, you know, bros. He is sweaty. He's got a bit of pace about him. He is good defensively. And he's just your typical cheap, sweaty left back, man. That's what Renan Lodi is. And also, he does have four star skill moves, which kind of does help, especially when you're going forward with Renan Lodi. That's kind of what I do like about him, is that going forward, he is a threat because he does have four star skill moves and also decent dribbling stats, decent agility as well. So, in attack, he isn't too bad. And also, obviously, defensively, he is very, very good, man. And with 74 uh, stand tackle and 73 slide tackle, which one isn't too bad, and two feels a lot higher 
guy in game to be honest and of course man he's got a bit of pace about him as well with 83 sprint speed and 86 acceleration if you guys do want to increase the pace a little bit then i would recommend getting a catalyst or shadow chemistry style but we move boys we move in towards the center of the partnership and now we're going to start off with the right center back spot and in the right center back spot we do have psg's frenchman president kimpembe kimpembe man a very very cheap beast honestly this guy is a player that just outperforms all of his stats man i mean it only says there 81 slide tackle and 81 stand tackle but i'll tell you now that is not the case man defensively he is so much better than the stats actually suggest and just the way he plays in game he feels so overpowered he feels like one of those meta cards like honestly guys he is absolutely insane so what i would say as well is if you've got a bit of extra coins go ahead and upgrade to his man of the match card that is just next level but honestly literally bro this gold card is very very insane or he should be higher rated the stats should be higher like everything about him just should be higher because the way he performs in game is so much better than is so much better to what his card actually suggests but anyways as you can see he's also got 84 strength and uh 83 interceptions and he also is pretty fast as well for a center back with 77 sprint speed and 73 acceleration so that's what i do like about president kim Pempe, man he really is just a sweaty beastly card and you know what that is kind of the same like um that is kind of the same for the man here man edda militao Again, it kind of like President Kimpempe in this game in terms of the fact that he performs, he outperforms his stats. You know, he seems a lot better than what the stats actually suggest. Again, you know, he's pace, he's got 80 sprint speed and 70 acceleration, but defensively, man, he feels a lot better than the stats actually what they actually say, man. I mean, he's only got 82 slide tackle and 80 slide tackle, but in game, it feels like 86, 86. He feels so much better in the game. So just make sure you guys give him a try. And I'm pretty sure you guys know how good, anyways, the Militao and President Kimpempe are, to be honest. But as a duo, it's just like, it's just like a wall literally it's like it's like having a brick wall there you've got your two full you've got your two full backs out wide there um right back and left back you just literally got a brick wall that's literally what you got with having edda militao and president kim Pempe there as a partnership man they are very very overpowered so make sure you guys go ahead and pick them up but anyways to complete the team in the goalkeeper position we do have Real Madrid, another Real Madrid player he goes by the name of Ariola, man alfonso Ariola, not too bad at all man a very very decent keeper in this game just a cheap goalkeeper everyone's go to you see him a lot to be honest and cheap squad builders man he gets the job done he does what he needs to do and that's what i do like about Ariola. as you can see there he's got 85 diving 79 handling 80 kicking 84 reflexes and 78 positioning man but anyways guys as you can see this is the insane overpowered 150k team this team will do complete damage ladies and gentlemen in foot champions and in division rivals bro i'm not gonna lie to you okay i am not gonna lie to you honestly this team is overpowered this team is absolutely insane so make sure you guys go ahead and pick up this team but most importantly importantly let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section please guys let me know what you think of this team give it a rating out of 10 man honestly this team will only cost you 150k of course if you guys already do have this Raphael card this SBC card here man and speaking of this SBC card it really does look overpowered as well as this whole team but honestly guys for the hundredth time i'm gonna say just make sure you guys get this team it really is overpowered but anyways guys i hope you did enjoy the video if you did enjoy the video and you want to see more overpowered squad builders then please make sure you guys do smash the like button make sure you guys do subscribe and turn on post notifications so you guys never miss an upload man but i really hope you guys did enjoy the video i hope you do like the team and just let me know your thoughts down below man but anyways enough of the chit chat and enough of me waffling on about this team have a nice day guys i hope you did enjoy and i will catch you in the next one peace out baby peace out.